Safeguarding is a responsibility shared by everyone in contact with people in a volunteering or professional capacity. Recent Welsh Government legislation provides a unique framework for stronger integration between those delivering services under the Social Services and Wellbeing Act and those working to prevent violence against women, domestic abuse and sexual violence, or Bowder SV. The legislation creates statutory duties for all safeguarding board partners to report to social services about children and adults at risk. There is also a duty for a local authority to make inquiries if they are informed that an adult or child may be at risk and to take steps to ensure that the child or adult is safe. The legislation also introduces Ask and Act, a process of targeted inquiry to identify those experiencing violence against women, domestic abuse and sexual violence earlier and to offer relevant support. Ask and Act is currently being rolled out across local authorities, health boards, fire and rescue authorities and NHS trusts. It is very likely that in identifying the experience of abuse, you will also identify a safeguarding issue related to both adults and children. This may also include clients who have additional needs for care and support. The legislation and related policy is designed to ensure that in any case, no one falls through the net. Ask and Act does not replace or create any new safeguarding procedure. Existing procedures must be used when and if you suspect a child or an adult is at risk. Legislation and government policy is only the start. There are many areas of practice where professionals can better integrate and partner for the benefit of the people of Wales. These include... Stronger partnership working to identify, report and respond to any safeguarding concerns about children affected by Vauder SV. Clearer understanding of how to work with those experiencing or at risk of Vauder SV who are also adults at risk under the Social Services and Wellbeing Act. Stronger arrangements between sectors to ensure that people receive a joined-up response which makes them safe. Better identification of those experiencing or at risk of abuse or neglect who need care and support and are unable to protect themselves. A more informed understanding of coercive control to better recognise domestic abuse. Alignment of multi-agency arrangements designed to safeguard, prevent or protect those at risk such as the Multi-Agency Risk Assessment Conference, the Multi-Agency Safeguarding Hubs and Strategy Discussions. Improved integration and stronger partnership across the care, support and Vauder SV sectors is important to prevent harm and death and to offer more effective early intervention to those in need. It also facilitates better information sharing, helps identify the impact of Vauder SV on the well-being and safety of children and provision of support to meet their needs. Better addresses wider care and support needs and invites inclusion of other important sectors such as education, family intervention and parenting. Some centralised work is underway to assist stronger partnership. This includes a thematic review by the National Independent Safeguarding Board to help us identify recurring issues in the most serious of cases. A review of the national protection procedures and aligned guidance will take place in 2018 and 2019 to facilitate better integration between sectors, bringing systems and services together around the people who need them. The National Independent Safeguarding Board will also engage with regional safeguarding and Bowder SV boards about the current system to identify where improvements are required. It is imperative that the public service leadership ensure strong working partnerships between specialist safeguarding practitioners, Vauder SV specialist support teams and all other relevant partners to ensure that the signs of abuse are acted upon and formal safeguarding procedures are followed. For more information, visit livefearfree.gov.wales.